Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to contribute to eBay's application with Cosmo Alpaca. So we're going to take a look at how to set up the eBay's application repository, how to install the Cosmo Alpaca extension in VS Code. Then we are going to set up a development environment and then we have a look at how you can start developing Polybase app. So first of all, you need to have access to the Central Apps repository here on GitHub. If you don't have access yet, you can request the access by filling out the contribution pilot form. I will leave the link for that below in the description. So if you have access to it, you first need to create a fork. For that, you can click the fork button here. You can choose an owner on GitHub if you have multiple accounts and you can give it a name and create the fork here. I already did that, so I will skip it and I will switch to VS Code for the next step. So inside of VS Code, you first need to make sure that you have the newest pre-release version of the AL language extension. So it's very important to have the pre-release one and then you can install Cosmo Alpaca by searching for it. And then it's important to choose the Cosmo Alpaca preview extension here and install that one. After you have it installed, you can find a new item here on the left sidebar. You can click on that and you will see all of your GitHub accounts. In this tree, you can now search for the fork you just created so I have it here and inside of the Business Central Apps repository in my own account, I, I can also see that there's an app project. And if I do a right click on the app project, I can create a new development environment by clicking on create container. You can give that container name. it's now creating the container for me. In the meantime, I'm going ahead and cloning that source code from this repository by doing a right click on the Business Central Apps repository here and saying clone. Then I will choose a folder for it. And it's now cloning the repository that again takes a few seconds. It now asks me if I want to open the clone repository. I will cancel that because I want to open a specific folder. So instead I press F1 and choose open folder. And inside of my just clone repository, I will go to app layers W1 and open the base folder here. It then asks me if I want to open a workspace. I will do that as well. And I will choose the base and tests workspace. Okay, so before I can continue, I will go back to the Alpaca preview extension. And I now need to wait for this container to be healthy. So as soon as the icon turns blue, um, I'm ready to continue. So I will wait for that and I will, I will pause and come back then. Okay, so my container now turned blue and a selfie, so I can continue. The next step I need to do is to connect my local development environment with this container. For that, I do a right click and say create launch JSON, and it creates the connection to my container here by creating this launch JSON inside of DBS code folder. Next, I'm going to download the symbols. So I first copy my password that has been generated for me here. I will then open a file, press a form and say download symbols. I can choose the container that has been set up for me. then to enter my username, just GitHub username and the password I just copied. 
add not our lots of symbols. And I will have them ready here inside of the AL packages. So we then need to prepare the environment for basic development. For that, there is an action. If you again do a right click and say prepare for base app deployment, it will do all the preparations for you. So, for example, it increases the version inside of the app JSON and it also moves the, um, the extensions to the dev scope so you can override them while developing. Again, it takes a few seconds and will then present the results here. You can see the message says that it has been that has updated the version inside of your app JSON and it also moved the um, extensions to the depth code. So the, so the only thing missing now are the DLLs. So I again go to the Alpaca extension, do a right click on my container and say download DLL package. This will collect all the DLLs from my container and download them. So if I open my downloads folder, I have my DLLs here, I can extract them. And I'm now going to move them inside of VS Code, there's the dot and packages folder. And I can mark them and move them to this folder here. So with the DLLs in here, I need to reload VS Code for the AL language extension to um, get those DSL, DLLs to load them. And yeah, we now we need to wait a few seconds for the workspace to load. So the workspace has now been loaded. I can see that it was successful because I only have some warnings but no errors in here anymore. And I'm now ready to um, publish my base application to my container and try it out. So I'm going to hit F5. It now does the compilation and the um, publishing. This again takes a few seconds, up to minutes. So the publish is now done. It automatically opened web client as usually. So I can again enter my GitHub username and the password I just copied before to sign in. There I have my base application deployed, so I can develop like normally, um, use RID, and so that the publishing is a lot faster. The first publish takes around five minutes, but the subsequent publishes are then a lot faster with that. So that's how you can um, contribute to the base application with Cosmo Alpaca. Um, again, if you have any issues or something like that, you can always, inside of the your code extension, you can use the pre.co and create bug reports. Just enter it, a title and then you will be redirected to the GitHub page of Alpaca and can um, describe the bug here if you have any issues. That's it for the short tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. You can use Cosmo Alpaca for up to 20 hours per month for basic contributions for free. If you want to use more, then please get in contact with us. You can always go to cosmoconsult.com slash cosmoalpaca if you want to get more information on the toolset. And you can also find the link below in the description.